Hey, it's Andy's free guitar chart videos for Wednesday, um, March 27th. You know, uh, I'm just getting over a cold and I really feel like, wow, this thing has made it difficult for me uh, to do things that require um, tedium and thought and, you know, uninterrupted... Um, calculations and, and whatever because that's my approach to the guitar so um, bear with me I'm just doing a follow-up of last night and I realized when I watched the video and I watched them through once so that's about all I can stand of it but you know I mean uh, I do watch them uh, afterwards um, after all the processing and stuff uh, to see how things went over um, and I made a, a couple, I got mixed up a little bit, and you know what, when I'm feeling good, I don't even, you know, when I'm doing the, um, it's the magic circle, okay, let's see if we can get up to there, here, here's the crux of the magic circle, which is over here, which is, this is the, uh, start, uh, a cage shape from any string. Okay, when we get involved with that, it gets difficult. So, right now, I have to leave the charts for, um, to do the thinking for me. I, I can't rattle it off. And I have said in the, in the past that um, it's not a good idea for me to start talking about a chart that's not on the screen. You know, it's just so much easier to go with the charts because when I was feeling better, my brain starts to work again and um, that's when I, I develop these techniques I'm sure guitar players have always developed these techniques but perhaps not documented them they didn't have computers um, that kind of thing so let's look at this okay if I could get this here I, re I really can't get the whole thing here and I've been uh, when I make the chart, I've been trying to put them where they can be completely zoomed in on. As you know here, uh, the relatives are down here, relative minor. So each major has a relative minor, but these are also shapes. These are also shapes. So the C major shape, okay, C major. The C major shape, talk about the cage system. So, the, where this capo is here, don't let it scare you. That's where your fret net is because I down tuned my strings. So, it's like a baritone um, guitar. The C, is, it's the easiest chord because. has all three inversions nicely in in the same chord that's the C major shape and it has its a minor over here right now that a minor is also got a bottom to it okay that bottom is going to fit into the C its parent the C uh, pentatonic scale it's going to fit into the diatonic scale all right now i don't want to play that right now but i can tell you um that you can play it in two ways you can either play the play it within the pentatonic c right so it's in there it's in there in that c somewhere notice i i wanted to go to the f and that is not part of an a minor F is not part of an A minor, and I was looking at that F like, man, I want to play that thing. It's E because it's part of the C, its parent. It's part of its parent scale. So the A minor, it, it's nice. So you can practically play all four of them. And I would 
guess that the A minor is pretty well arpeggiated out. Yeah, it sounds like we're missing one of its uh, arpeggiations, you know, one of the one of the notes in that triad. So like I said, I don't want to get it too complicated because that's part of uh, feeling better and, and, and playing guitar when you're feeling better. When you're not feeling well, um, it's best to go with what's, you know, you trust this already. So this is the start cage from any string chart. And what it means is um, if I have that C shape right here that we just played that C shape, if I start that same C shape from the second string, it's going to become an E-shaped pentatonic. And as it turns out, it'll become an E-shaped chord. It'll become an E-shaped um, arpeggio. You know, and and starting a um, even starting a a to the point where it's with the uh, C minors. It, it works with the minors. It works with the relative minors, but it also works with the other minors. Any real shape that you can play, supposedly. I just can't rattle that off for you right now. So, uh, we start that C minor shape. Now, it's best for me, for demonstration purposes, to find um, a uh, that C major shape to find the, the the C major shape where it starts okay with that robust C okay you know now I'm borrowing it with my finger to find that G on the second string would be up here and as you can see this is where the E shape is so I start that that same chord, that same arpeggio, let's say. Arpeggios are a beautiful substitution for a chord, right? And I'm going to start that from the second string here. And this says starting that from the second string, we'll get the E shape. So it's... That's as high as we can get on it. We're going to lose some of it, but that is the E shape right there. Second inversion, G, C, E. It's an E shape C. So that's what the, and there's no reason to keep playing this until I get confused. Because <laughs> it's easy to get confused. Now, does it work? Um, just on the same string I was doing that today it, it, it does but it'll it'll take it to another key so if you start uh, not another chord rather if you start that same shape right right here that is an E shaped F You've taken the C shape, started it from the second string, and it became an E shaped F. So it's a shaping chart. That works real good. So that's just a little explanation. But because I'm sick, I, I just want to keep the videos going and try to um, kind of gloss over things, you know, get an overview of what's going on here. My sister just sent me a, a compliment on Facebook, you know, and if I think about how complicated this is, I'd rather just keep it simple. Here we have six fretboards, and they all involve different things. The, the They're interleaved, so these three guys were made separate from these three guys right here. So there's there's root first inversion and the second inversion of all, of an, all of the modes. The mo all of the modes are Ionian, Dorian, Phrygian, Lydian, Mixolydian, Aeolian, 